So the Azeri fans in attendance here tonight, absolutely ecstatic as you would be. But this is the one, this is the clash that could well be the Samba of the evening. Kaibula and Luis. So Ramon Luis first out for Cuba. in this middleweight competition at 75 keys. Luis Ramon got a WSB record of 2 and 0. Currently ranked number 1. 181 centimeters tall, 22 years of age, fights south tall. In week 1 against Mexico, he beat Juan Antonio Mercado on points. Then in week three, took on Andrei Efremenko of Russia. This is the fighter's choice here tonight. Kaibula Musalov. So there's the numbers for Luis Ramon. And I'll give you the numbers for Kaibala Musalov. He's got a WSB record of eight and three, six wins on points. Two, two TKOs, 175 centimeters, 23 years of age. And there's the numbers up on screen. It's his first time out this season. Almost as if they were leaving the best till last. He was the number two ranked boxer in season two. An impressive eight and three record in the WSB. And he's only lost those two to the very best in the business. The Ottomans, Dimitrio Mitrofanov, and the Arlands, Sergei Devranyanchenko. This clash could well be the most exciting outing thus far. Referee giving his final instructions. Get ready and hang on because this bout will be like riding a wild Mustang with Wasabi on its rear end. Buckle up, Funsters. This is going to be lively. And straight away, just look at that. Musalov getting down and dirty. Orthodox fighter, Musalov. And he's going to try and close the ring down very quickly and put Ramon under pressure and close down that Cuban flair. Tight guard, Musala. But look at Musala move forward, he just keeps pressurizing. Luis Ramon. And this bout contested at middleweight. Just having a word with the two of them. Heads going down low, and it's offering the opportunity for Masalov to put him under pressure. And I have to say, Ramon Luis just not allowed to get his shots off here. Well, 
settling down as they find where they're going to find a way in and already we're seeing that uh, Luis is coming under pressure from the Aziri impressive WSB record Mosalov has and the two TKOs in his record shows that he's a WSB demolisher and he needs to be quick o'clock here against the Cuban who actually just looks a little bit sluggish here in this first round not looking on great form so far Luis drawing to the end of the round it's been furious very very hard again to call it on the belt just a little bit of over enthusiasm they touch gloves and let's just see what the tail of the tape tells us A lot of shots thrown. However, the judges find in favour of Musalov. Judge A, B and C scoring 10-9, 10-9, 10-9 in favour of the Azerbaijani. Well, who would have thought at this stage in the competition that uh, the domination that the Cubans have had on the competition so far would be thrown up into the air like this? The Aziris need to win the next two bouts, straight wins, after the turnaround that uh, Guy Batula Gajalayev offered in the third bout of the evening at light welterweight. This middleweight bout, if it goes in favour of Masalov, will put the Aziris back in with everything to play for with the final bout at heavyweight and Danis Latipov taking on Erislandi Savon. What a clash that's going to be. That's to come. This is now round two. Ramon Luis. Kaibula. Musalov. Musalov in the black flame. Luis in the gold and silver. So taking that first round which I thought was pretty close. The tactic quite clearly of Musalov is to try and close the ring down as desperately as he can and not allow the Cuban any manoeuvring room at all. And referee's going to have a tough time controlling this because Musalov is just not going to give an inch. Dominating, pushing backwards. And the Cubans like to dance, they like to use the ring, but... Uh, this is another thing, he's having to stick and move. But I think uh, Musalov might have the tactic right here tonight. Just under a minute left. Luis really not being able to work in the way he'd like. And just look at this. Musalov putting him under pressure, tying him up on the ropes. And I think the face of Luis says it all. 
Sarlov just moves forward, four-wheel drive, relentlessly hunting. Luis catching him. And right from the get-go, Luis didn't look comfortable. But if he didn't then, sure doesn't now. And as I said, this fight would be like riding a wild Mustang. And it is certainly that as we draw to the end of round two as Kai Bula Musalov of the Aziri Baku fires just all over Ramon Luis of the Cuba Domadores. This is a tale of the tape and it's much the same as the first round of Ramon Luis finding his dancing partner just a little bit too close for comfort. Well, for Musalov, it's a case of mind over matter. Interestingly enough, that round went to Luis Ramon. 10-9, 10-9 across the board, making it a draw so far. One round each to both fighters. And uh, Kaibula Musalov really making this a close call. I was going to say it's a case of mind over matter. And if uh, you don't mind getting hit, it won't matter. And that's the strategy that Masalov is bringing here because he's coming in, taking the shot in order to get off his own shot. And he needs to keep that distance close. Otherwise, Ramon Lewis will find the space to operate. And that's exactly what Kaibula Masalov doesn't want. But Masalov has got stoppage power. And if he can get inside, Possibility could end this early. So round three, and uh, there's the space now. We can see the air between the two. And just look at that. He's taking full advantage of it. Ramon Lewis, and uh, this is where he wants to be, at space. Takes a nice little left hand there to the chin. But uh, on his toes, moving in and out of trouble and just that room to slip. And now, some accuracy has gone from the work of Musalov. And he's not able to get in and do the damage he was doing in the first and second rounds. In fact, he's taking shots now. Good left hand from the Cuban. This bout crucial. And a lot, again, riding on the shoulders of the Aziri. So stalking his man, trying to keep him without space to operate and working the body well to try and drop the hands. Works his way in, good shot. But Luis popping out from over the top. Scoring away equally as well. And that big right hand. Well. So far, and long in coming, Nostradamus predicted it. It was way over the top. But those weren't left-right, left combination, and it tagged the Cuban. Straight back in there with just over half a minute left. A lot of work still for Musalov to do to take this round. But if he finishes strongly, might convince the judges. And for work rate alone, Aziri Musalov has got to be right up there. Referee warning Lewis about the head. So chasing his man now. Throwing the shots in. And on the belt, another tight one. Difficult. So difficult to see which way this will go. Well, a lot of shots thrown, a lot of potential there. Nothing landed really cleanly. A few good shots on the sweet spots. So far, 
It's one apiece. Crucial third round. Let's see how the judges scored it. And they scored in favor of the Cuban. 10-9 across the board from judge A, B, and C. So going into four, Luis Ramon has run two of the rounds. Kaibula Musalov just having won the opener. Still all to play for, but Kaibula Musalov has got to get busy here. First two rounds were energy intensive for the Baku Fires fighter. And coming into this, it looked as if he had a very strong chance. But has he gone from hero to zero? From strength to strength, Ramon Lewis works out the strategy of Musalov. And he's created that distance and the space he needs to box, and that's exactly what he's doing. Just over two minutes, round four. A bit of hugging going on. And Masalov spoiling. Luis holding on. And signs of early fatigue from Kaibula Musalov. And you just get the feeling that this just might be slipping away. But uh, controversy there. There's a couple of shots laid off on the way down. So desperate is Musalov to just close this man down and to really work him. And uh, I don't think thus far in the WSB I've seen a referee work as hard. So serious intent here from Musalov. But the Cuban determined not to give ground in that clash. And the referee's got to have serious words. Clock off. So both being told not to hold and hit. On his toes and dancing now. Luis Ramon bringing that Cuban flair here. And that's exactly what Kaibula Musalov doesn't want because that target will be all the more elusive. And there's no time to showboat. This is a crucial round for the Aziri. And he's taking shots now as the superior accuracy. And I would venture there's a reach advantage here that uh, Ramon Lewis has, turns beautifully there, punishes his man. And now Lewis's turn to spoil. 10 seconds left. And I think this is a strong round for Lewis. And on the bell, this could be the round that sees victory slip away from Kaibula Musalov and indeed the Aziri team. Just to revisit in the slow-mo. Such potential there. Look at that shot. Whistles by the chin of Ramon Luis. Well, surprise upon surprise. 10-9, 10-9, 10-9 across the board for Musalov. And he's still in this. Kaibula Musalov of the Aziri Baku Fires wins the round. It's two apiece going into the fifth. This isn't really nail-biting stuff. Such an important clash. Both these teams hot on the tail of the Arlan Wolves of Kazakhstan, literally. So we go to the fifth and final round in this 
middleweight clash. Ramon Luis, Kaibula Musalov, Musalov of the Aziri Baku fires in the flame shorts. Gold and silver for Ramon Luis for the Cuban Domadores. I said this was going to be a wild ride, and it's just been that. So just trying to look as if he's in control. On his toes, Ramon Luis dances around the ring. Abula Masalov would like nothing better than to make this an absolute slugfest. being warned about heads so this round absolutely critical there's no two ways about it and trying to take away some of the impetus by holding Luis trying to spoil Musalov neither fighter can afford to do this they really need to give their all it's all or nothing it's almost a golden round He says, when I speak to you, you've got to listen to Masalov. It's a minute left. And it's all or nothing for both these fighters. Can Kaibula Musalov keep the Aziris in this competition? If he wins this round, he will. Will Ramon Lewis have enough? energy to keep them out just under half a minute left now and the referee saying don't hold there's a little bit of spoiling going on from both sides here and they're digging so deep these two men into the very anthropology of themselves there's a cut on the right eye of Ramon Lewis and the referee having a look. There's been so many heads going into this, and it's a nasty cut. Not enough to do any damage at this stage, but it might be enough to convince the judges that Musalov has done enough. He says no holding of heads in a headlock, and that's the bell. And I think the body language says it all here. Has he done enough? National pride rests on Kaibula Musalov. Will he keep the Baku boys in contention? That's a nasty cut over the right eye of Ramon Luis. And I think that just uh, spells out how tough, how purposeful the Cubans' opponents are tonight. We need an official verdict. I have to say, the fourth round was a surprise to me from the judges, but based on that, I think Kaibula Musalov could have done this, and if he has, well, then, he is going to be an absolute national hero. They've done it! The Baku bad boys are big, bad, and back! There's the scores. 10-9, 9-10, 10-9 in favour of the... Aziri fighters and they've done it they're still in they're hanging on by a thread they've caught a wave now